China has launched an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM over 11,000 kilometers across the Pacific Ocean. And what's making headlines isn't just the missile itself, but the sophisticated monitoring behind it. The People's Liberation Army Navy's plan advanced space tracking ships, the Yuan Wang-3 and Yuan Wang-5, played a pivotal role in this test, tracking the missile's journey from Hainan Island to the South Pacific. This is China's first full-range missile test since 1980, and it's a bold statement on multiple fronts. In this video, we'll dive straight into how the planned space tracking ships were instrumental in this operation, why this test is a significant validation of China's nuclear deterrent, and what it means for global security dynamics. Get ready to explore the cutting-edge technology and strategic moves that have everyone talking. When a nation conducts a full-range intercontinental ballistic missile test, it's not just flexing its muscles, it's rigorously validating its nuclear deterrent capabilities. China's recent test did exactly that, and at the heart of this operation were the planned space tracking ships, the Yuan Wang-3 and Yuan Wang-5. These advanced vessels were strategically positioned in the Pacific Ocean northwest of Nauru and east of Tokelau to monitor the missile's trajectory in real time. So why is the involvement of these tracking ships so significant? First, they represent a leap in China's ability to gather intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance data over vast distances. Equipped with state-of-the-art radar and communication systems, the Yuan Wang ships can track missiles and spacecraft, ensuring that every second of the missile's 11,000-kilometer journey was closely observed and recorded. The missile launched was a DF-31, one of China's older but reliable ICBMs. By firing it from Hainan Island, China was able to chart a trajectory that mostly avoided other nations, minimizing diplomatic complications. However, the true novelty lies in how the plan's tracking ships enabled China to conduct this test over open ocean a feat that requires precise monitoring to assess the missile's performance under realistic operational conditions. This test was China's first full-range ICBM launch since 1980, bringing it in line with practices common among other nuclear powers like the United States, Russia, and India. Full-range tests are crucial for verifying a missile's accuracy, reliability, and effectiveness over the distances it would need to cover in a real-world scenario. The involvement of the planned space tracking ships ensured that China could collect comprehensive data on the missile's flight path, re-entry behavior, and targeting precision. By successfully leveraging these tracking ships, China is not only validating its nuclear deterrent, but also demonstrating its advancing technological capabilities in missile monitoring and space surveillance. This enhances the credibility of its defense systems and sends a clear message about its strategic readiness. The synergy between the missile test and the plan's monitoring operations underscores a significant milestone in China's military modernization efforts. While the test was a technical success, it didn't occur in a vacuum. The international community took notice and the diplomatic ripples were significant. China did make some strategic diplomatic moves by notifying the United States, France, and New Zealand ahead of the launch. This preemptive communication helps prevent misunderstandings that could escalate into conflicts. However, not all neighboring nations received the memo. Pacific Island nations like Kiribati were not informed leading to criticism and concerns over safety and environmental impacts. Australia's response was particularly pointed they were advised only hours before the launch and given no details. This has led to calls from Australia and other Pacific nations for an end to ballistic missile testing in the region. Why did China choose to notify some countries but not others? This selective communication could be a strategic decision to balance transparency with operational security. By informing major powers, China avoids alarming nations with significant military capabilities that could interpret the test as a hostile act. On the other hand, not notifying smaller nations might have been an oversight or a calculated risk, assuming they wouldn't have the means to respond significantly. The diplomatic fallout highlights the complexities of modern international relations. While China aims to assert its military advancements, it must also navigate the sensitivities of its neighbors and the global community. 
The test has raised questions about China's commitment to regional stability and its willingness to engage transparently with other nations. This event also underscores the importance of strategic diplomacy in military operations. Notifying certain countries shows a level of responsibility, but failing to inform others can undermine that goodwill. For China, managing these diplomatic challenges is crucial as it continues to expand its military capabilities. Behind the scenes of this missile test was a showcase of China's technological advancements in surveillance and tracking capabilities. The deployment of the Yuan Wang-3 and Yuan Wang-5 space tracking ships was instrumental in monitoring the missile's trajectory across the vast Pacific Ocean. These ships are part of China's evolving network designed to enhance its intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ESR capabilities. But what makes these tracking ships so special? Equipped with state-of-the-art radar and communication systems, the Yuan Wang vessels can track spacecraft and missiles over long distances. By positioning them strategically in the Pacific northwest of Nauru and east of Tokelau, they provided real-time data on the missile's flight, ensuring that every moment was recorded and analyzed. In addition to the ships, China's network of satellites and ground stations played a critical role. Monitoring a missile over such a long distance requires precise coordination between various tracking assets. This test provided a valuable opportunity for China to evaluate how well its surveillance systems perform in a real-world scenario. It's one thing to have the hardware, it's another to have all components working seamlessly together. However, there are still questions about the effectiveness of China's ESR capabilities. Analysts point out that while the network is impressive, it is still evolving. This test serves as both a validation of current capabilities and an identification of areas that need improvement. Enhancing these systems is crucial for China not only for missile testing but also for its broader military ambitions, including space exploration and satellite operations. The technological leap represented by this test has significant implications. Improved surveillance capabilities enhance China's ability to monitor not just its own assets but also the activities of other nations. This could shift the balance in terms of strategic intelligence and military readiness. China's recent ICBM test over the Pacific Ocean is a multifaceted event that holds significant implications for global security and diplomacy. Operationally, it validates China's nuclear deterrent, ensuring that their missiles perform reliably over long distances. Diplomatically, it has stirred reactions ranging from cautious acknowledgement to outright criticism, highlighting the delicate balance China must maintain on the international stage. Technologically, the test showcases China's advancements in surveillance and tracking capabilities, marking a step forward in their military modernization. Understanding this event is crucial because it not only reflects China's current military capabilities, but also signals its future intentions. As China continues to expand and improve its military technology, the international community will need to navigate the complexities this brings to global security dynamics. Open communication and transparency will be key in preventing misunderstandings and fostering a stable international environment. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.